Hello and welcome to another uh, video from Mike Treasure Rooster. Today we're going to talk about compound metrics. I created another video for basic metrics. Today I'm going to talk about compound metrics and I'll follow it up with another video about um, level metrics and transformations. So we're just talking about compound metrics at this time. And I'm going to go ahead and start creating these metrics. So I'm going to use the metrics uh, public object folder create a new metric. I'll show you a couple of compound metrics and then we'll talk about the different properties. So unlike uh, basic metrics where we're doing something like the sum of cost, we don't want to do that. Now notice when I do the basic metrics I have those different options available but I don't want to do that. I want to do something compound. So I'm going to use there's several compound metrics that you can create uh, I'm going to use something like a formula. So let's say I want to actually, instead of using my revenue metric, I'm going to create a compound revenue. So I'm going to do cost, or uh, let me do this. Let's do a profit. That'll be that'll make more sense. So revenue minus cost. Validate. Notice I don't need a sum because this is a metric. It's not a fact. So Mark Shaj knows that this is a sum of some fact and this is a sum or a it has its own definition. If you're not sure what the definition is, notice Mark Shaj will gray it out but show you what this is doing. So if you expand it, say this is the sum of cost and this is the revenue is the sum of revenue okay so you you can see what's going on in these two metrics but your main metric which is this one the, the top one is just the difference in this case between these two uh, two things you want to be careful about when you're doing something like compound metrics revenue minus cost you want to make sure that your subtotal makes sense is your subtotal supposed to sum yes because the difference between these two is additive meaning you can sum it up so if you have different levels like city state country in your total it'll still add up similar to your aggregation if you remove or modify the aggregation you add a uh, dimension you remove a dimension it should still add up and add down meaning that the difference between these two the result which is cost I mean which is profit is additive it can be summed up and summed down and it's default aggregated meaning when you change the template it'll still sum up and sum down okay you want to make sure that your formatting is correct is it as a fix well I want it to be currency with let's say one decimal okay great um, and do I want it to be an inner or an outer joint I can set it up here let's say I want it to be an outer joint okay and do I want it to be aliased? Yeah, let's alias it as my new, no spaces allowed, my new, no spaces allowed because this is going to be embedded in your SQL data type. Keep it as default unless you really want to change the data type. Uh, this requires knowledge of what's in the data and what's compatible, but keep it default. Don't mess yourself up here. Okay, great. Everything looks good. We're valid and we're going to save. Leave it in the main metrics folder and I call it my first compound metric. Save. And let me close it and use it. I'll create a new report. Blank report. Alrighty. Now in my report, let's say I want to aggregate by the level, by the year level, and let's do it by region, and go back and add my metric, metrics folder. If you don't know where it is or you don't want to navigate, you can just click here, just drag it from here to there. There it is. 
year, region, my first compound metric, run. All right, so there, there it is in action. Did the year, did the region, and it did the compound metric uh, calculation. Let me add a subtotal. Okay, see how it performs. Great. So then I got the sum. Remember I said it's additive and I kept it as default sum, so there it is. It's adding these by region and then at the end it'll add all the years. If you want to go to the end, it'll add all the years up. Great, so it's operating the way I want it. And let me verify the SQL, see what's happening. This should be interesting. So I'm selecting the year, selecting the region, and the region lookup. And notice here what happens. That's the formula that I just created. It's summing the difference between these two, aliasing it as my new cost. cost. I called it new cost. I should have called it new profit. But you, 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 you see what I'm trying to say, right? And here's my inner and outer, then my inner joins here. And because it's a metric and it's coming from A11, which is my driving table, it is the first selection, so that's why you didn't see any need for outer joining. The inner joining is simply for lookup tables. And there it is, grouping by year and region. Very straightforward, very simple. Go back to the design. So let's say I don't like the fact that I mis-aliased it. I can right click and edit this metric. And I will change the alias from metric column in, call my new profit. Okay, save and close. Now, if I go ahead and run it here, and I go ahead and view the SQL, it's still gonna say my new cost, because you actually have to save this report and rerun it, because you modified the metric. So it's not gonna know you modified it until you come back, so my new report so save this and rerun it and it should say my new profit okay so here we go we're doing the subtract now uh, when we do level metrics we, you can actually have my trade do this in one SQL pass do this in another SQL pass if the levels were different for example, if this was at a regional level, but this was at a country level, and you had a weird profit metric that is taking the difference between two levels, then you can have this in one pass of SQL, this in another pass of SQL, and a third pass of SQL will do the difference in the analytical engine, not in the SQL engine. Um, when we go and talk about level metrics, I will make sure to uh, demonstrate a compound metric that utilizes level metrics in order to make the, or to manipulate the SQL to do two passes, each one at a different uh, SQL level, which means at a different group by level. Okay, but this is the basic formula, and it works neatly just as expected. Go back to the report, show you the results, and there it is, my first compound metric. Thank you very much.